hopefully many of you will recognize my oil nozzle here that I made a while back for my foundry and it actually worked quite well having the air coming in through the little welding tip that's inside of there like an air jet and then the oil just it was gravity fed in and it just kind of spit it out in droplets and it worked all right but I came up with an idea and hopefully it'll be something a little better I have taken here a this was a helium tank for balloons and I drilled some holes into it and soldered these brass fittings in and on this side I have a, an air nipple here and this is a regulator with an air chuck here and plus also this unscrews and it also doubles as my for being able to fill this and right now this has got probably a couple gallons of oil in it right now and then at the bottom here is my oil outlet and this here valve is actually a flow control valve for hydraulics so you can just very finely tune how much flows through it so my idea is is that this tank is pressurized with air up to eh, 120 pounds ish or so and so that will pressurize the oil on the outlet so then the oil pressurized goes into this here my existing nozzle and comes out here but that's not going to really do a lot of deal and this is also in conjunction with having the air pressure going through the nozzle there well what I got to look around and I have these here nozzles these come off of a carpet cleaning machine and these are little spray nozzles for the the water in it and I thought well why not have by screwing one of these onto it like so where my air comes in my oil comes in the oil and air is internally mixed in here and then at pressure sprayed out this nozzle I thought well what it might create a, a lot finer spray so me find the right size of the wrench tighten this down some there we go then I have my oil here and then this here fitting screws on like so actually I need to down some Get my oil line here on it there we go we might have a leak or two but hey that's okay so air coming in oil coming in very precise adjustment on how much oil goes in and then I figured if I have the same amount of air pressure and oil pressure coming in here well it's going to favor the air coming out and I mean you may get very little if any at all on the oil so I have this regulator on the tank this is out actually my outlet for the air into here like so so the pressure regulator slightly drops the air pressure so it's going to definitely flow that way the oil is under more pressure than the air so it'll definitely be able to control both the air and the oil so now I need to hook my air compressor up to it make sure everything is off here we go pressurizing the tank Kind of makes me nervous, honestly. 
All right, this tank's up to probably roughly 120 pounds of air in it. So, I'm gonna scoot this off over to the side here. All right, off camera, I was kind of doing a little bit of experimenting. And the other tip I had on here just a moment ago, um, act like it was clogged up, so I gotta find me a little fine piece of wire or something to see if I can unclog it. So I switched over to this other tip. So, let's see how this works. We'll turn the air on. There's the air, full blast. And then we'll start just turning the oil up a little at a time until it starts. There's the oil coming through. This is about low flame. That's a pretty fine spray to me. Turn up a little more. Hope you're able to see that. I'm going to turn the whole bunch to see what does. There's the oil about full blast. It's a very large drop. Turn it back down. Just turn oil on by itself. There we go. Getting a little stream out of it. Let's turn it up. You can see with this flow control valve, I could very, very accurately do it. Let's try with about that much oil flow. And now I'm going to turn the air on. There we go. This looks like a fairly large droplet. I'm going to turn the oil down. That's a pretty fine spray right there. What happens with this force flow? That doesn't accomplish a whole lot. Turn the oil all the way off. Blow a little bit of residual oil out in the nozzle. And turn the air off. So. Very curious of how this is going to work. I'm going to put this all together back inside the pipe with the blower and try it on the foundry and see what happens. I'm, I'm really curious to see. This is where I need some nice weather out. We got ice on right now and I really don't want to get out there and mess with it. But as proof of concept, I'm happy with this. I like it a lot. All right. Well, unhook my airline here. This part's always a little interesting. And here we go, release the pressure. Ah, tore my glove. So will this system work better for atomizing the oil for the foundry? So it'll burn better, hotter, possibly use less oil? I don't know, I need to test it out. So. Maybe here in the near future when we get a decent day, possibly next week, I think it's supposed to warm up and get kind of nice. So I could see something happening then. So hopefully this kind of maybe gave you some ideas on how to build something. This is all built just out of stuff I had laying around my garage. I have all kinds of stuff. So this was just bits and pieces. Can it be simplified some more? Absolutely. Will I try to simplify it in the future? Absolutely. I have a lot of ideas for this. So I will get this put together back in the pipe and get it ready to put on the foundry and 
fired up next week. We'll see what happens. So, hopefully you found this interesting, useful, got something out of this video. So, until next time, get out there and just go make it. Thanks for watching.